One of the new challenges I took on three or four years ago was to become a volunteer first responder working with the ambulance service. We respond to emergency calls within our local area and are able to provide immediate first aid, help and reassurance to patients and their families until the professionals, the paramedics, arrive to take over. We're not qualified clinicians, but we are well trained and equipped with defibrillators, oxygen, first aid gear, dressings and one or two basic drugs. And one of our tasks is to record the standard information about the patient, the incident and the clinical observations, including, including temperature, pulse, respiration rates, blood pressure, uh, oxygen saturation and so on. That saves time for the professionals when they arrive and helps them to monitor the patient's progress. I was, was reminded of all that when I read a recent article by Mark Opperman and published on his management consultation website. Mark was promoting the importance of a regular month-end business report for practice owners and managers, a report which enables them to monitor business performance and compare with budget. Mark recommends that the report should include some of the more important financial indicators such as total income, number of business days, number of transactions, the average transaction value or the average client transaction, the number of new clients, the value of debtors or total accounts receivable, the bank balance and so on. The dashboard that Mark uses also includes income and transaction volume on a per vet basis and the two major costs most readily under immediate management control. That's the cost of products and supplies and the employment costs of the practice team. Mark's advice makes very good sense, especially his comment about comparing actual performance with the budget and the need to identify any variances which need attention. That applies, of course, to all the other numbers, quite apart from financial performance. So, for example, you calculate that the practice has to register five new clients per vet every week to grow the active client database in line with plan, then your dashboard report will need to highlight any adverse variance from that so that you can take whatever operational measures might be appropriate to get back on track. It's a great way of keeping your finger on the business pulse of your practice just like paramedics and first responders uh, keep a finger on the pulse of their patients. See you next time.